Let's get it going. We're going to break this down. We're going to break this Kendrick Lamar response to Drake euphoria. We're going to break this all the way down. So if you new to the channel, you in for a treat, make sure you hit that like, comment, share, and subscribe to GMOG Media TV because we in for a barn burner. So let me start off with this because I'm not going to play the track family due to copyright, you know, and, and, you know, Euphoria is officially on Drake's YouTube page. You could stream it yourself, but I'm not going to play it due to copyright because he owns the, he owns the content. I'm not going to get a channel strike. All right. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down the lyrics the best that I can, how I decipher the lyrics as well as everything else that's going on with the, with the track. All right. So let's start off like with this. I'm going to play this clip of myself talking about the Drake response to Kendrick when he released the track Taylor made with the AI of Tupac and Snoop Dogg. Here is my take on this. I'll play it right now. Okay, this is beyond corny. Drake released another this track using AI with Tupac and Snoop Dogg was still alive trying to force Kendrick Lamar to release the diss track. When, let's just, let's just do the math here. The single, like that or the album, We Don't Trust You by Future and Metro Boomin, it came out March 22nd, 2024, all right? Now, the Drake response or diss track, push-ups, was released April 19th officially. All right. All right. It, it, it technically dropped April 13th last week, but officially, what, what's, what's your out on DSPs? That, that means that's the official release date of the, of the song. It, it took your last four, four weeks, weeks, almost a month. Basically, basically a month, yeah, yeah pretty, pretty much, much a month to respond to Kendrick Lamar. And he's, he's trying to force this nigga to come at you sooner than four weeks. That makes no damn sense to me. All right, so basically, as you can see, I was spot on with my assessment because... It took Drake a month to respond. Again, officially on DSPs. Now, the unofficial response to that, because it wasn't on DSPs, um, the track push-ups was released, as I said in the video, April, what did I say, April uh, 13th, the week prior. So, as you know, by now, Kendrick Lamar has responded today, April the 30th. Okay. He has responded today. So it basically took him about a week. I say about two weeks, two weeks to respond. That was faster. First of all, that was faster than Drake responding to Kendrick Lamar from the light that track. Now, Aubrey fans are going to say, well, Drake was on tour. Drake was on tour. I am not going to use that or actually accept that as an excuse. Many a times there are people, as, as you guys know, there are so many artists that was able to create mixtapes and albums and do other things while on tour. So don't don't miss me with that damn he was on tour excuse. All right. So let's get into the lyrics and break this down, man, as best as best as my ability so Euphoria track by Kendrick Lamar, as you can see, produced by Cardo. Shout out to Cardo. Actually, he's one of my favorite producers. Him and uh, Larry June, man, they did a great album last year. It was a very, I say, underrated album that they did last year called The Night Shift. Super dope album. Soundwave is uh, Kendrick Lamar's personal producer that he's worked with him since day one. And it mentions three other producers who I am not familiar with, honestly, Johnny Giuliani and Young Executive. I'm not familiar with those guys, right? But yeah, man, shout out to Cardo and shout out to Soundwave who produced the uh, the track Euphoria. Now, let's break down the, the title, Euphoria. So, Euphoria, which I did not know until just now, that the reference is from Drake being an executive producer from an HBO series called Euphoria. Euphoria, as you can see, is an American TV series on HBO. And it's centered, it's basically centered around 
young adolescent teenagers, right, quote unquote, being exploited in their everyday lives. That's from a general perspective. But yes, that's what the premise of the show is about. Euphoria from the HBO series and Drake made his name attached to the show. He became an executive producer on the show. So as you can see, he was listed here as an executive producer for the show Euphoria. So this is chess, not checkers, man. Uh, there is a reason behind this title. It's just not some random title he came up with. All right. So let's talk about the intro of this track. Uh, I did not decipher this. I know like when you first hear the track, something is playing backwards. I don't have anything right now that I can play a, a track backwards to see what they said and forward. You know what I mean? I will have to come back and, and see what that meant later. But right now, I don't know what that meant. So the beat drops from the intro. It's real smooth, real mellowed out. And I'm like, okay, that sounds familiar. And lo and behold, I wasn't tripping. The actual beat or the beat that was sampled was from Teddy Pentagrass. And I'm going to show you right here. It's from this track. You're my latest, my greatest inspiration. So that's where the intro came from. I'll play just a little bit of it. Hopefully I don't get a strike. All right. So that's basically where he got the track from, was sampled from that. So that was super dope um, that he just set the mood with that intro of the beat. So let's get into the first verse. All right, it says, them superpowers get neutralized. I can only watch in silence. The famous actor we only we once knew is looking paranoid and now spiraling. You're moving just like a degenerate. Every antic is feeling distasteful. I calculate you're not as calculated. I can even predict your angle. Fabricating stories on the family front because you heard Mr. Morale. A pathetic master manipulator. I can smell the tales on you now. You're not a rap artist. You're a scam artist with the hopes of being accepted. Tommy, Phil, Tommy Hilfiger stood out, but FUBU never had your collection. I make music that electrifies them. You make music that pacify them. I can double down on that line, but spare you this time your random acts of kindness. So this part right here, I make music that electrify them. You make music that pacify them. I can double down on that line, but spare you this time. Now, did some research on this, and what Kendrick is referring to is Drake's ties to underage women, such as Millie Bobby Brown, right? He had a relationship with, whether it be sexual or non-sexual with Millie Bobby Brown uh, for quite some time. You know, this is an article from uh, from last year. Drake 36 uh, defends his friendship with Millie Bobby Brown 19 in his new song that dropped on his last album. So he addressed that. So Drake has a history with talking to underage women. Millie Bobby Brown is not the only one that he had a quote unquote relationship with, whether it be sexual or non-sexual um, or platonic, whatever you want to call it, platonic. Right. He's not she's not the only one that he has, you know, engaged with. So that's what that bar is referencing. He can double down. He didn't want to get specific, but he can actually elaborate if need be. So I thought that was super dope. Let's continue. No, you are a master manipulator and a habitual liar, too. But don't tell no lie about me. I wouldn't tell truths about you. That was dope. That was dope. All right. So this is part two. Now, now also, man, this is a six minute song. It has three beat switches. Now, the term three switches, he referred to that on the track like that with Future. He says, I got three switches referring to. This song, this man is a, hey, <laughs> he, 
He is a Nostradamus storyteller. All right, so let's go with the in- the intro to the uh, part two of the track. All right, verse one. Yeah, I'm out the way. Yeah, I'm low key. Okay. Yeah, the island right here is remote. Okay. I ain't think about no re- no reaper, nigga. I'm reaping what I sow. Okay. Play on words with the uh, reap what you sow. Grim Reaper. I like that. Got a Benjamin and a Jackson all in my house like I'm Joe. So that's dope. Hellcat made his homeboys in them type sell they sold. Okay. Now, Hellcat, he's referring to I mean the Hellcat, of course. Uh, you may or may not know, but uh, he's a uh, social media personality, uh, has a presence on YouTube and got locked up for basically scamming people. And, um, you know, he even, you know, sacrificed his homeboys at the time as well. I believe he's been locked up for like five and a half, six years or something like that. But that's where the Hellcat reference came from. I mean, the Hellcat. All right, let's continue. Everybody want to be demon till, till they get chipped by your throwaway. And I might do a snow a day once a lame, always a lame. Oh, you thought the money, the power, and the or the fame would make you go away? Have you ever played? Have you ever? Okay, nigga, let's play. Have you ever walked your have you ever walked your enemy down like a poker face? Have you ever paid five hundred thou like an open case? Well, I have, and I have failed at both, but I came out straight. I hate when I rap or talk about guns when somebody die. They turn into nuns, then hop online like pray for my city. He faking for likes and digital hugs. His daddy a killer. He want to be junior. They're, they must have forgot the shit they done. Dementia must run in his family, but let it get shaky. I'll park his sons. Referring to Parkinson's disease and the symptom of shaking and losing memory, right? Which is a form of dementia. Super dope bar right there. Let's continue. The very first time I shot I shot me a Drake, the homie had told him to aim it this way. I didn't point down enough. Today I'll show you I learned from those mistakes. Somebody had told me that you got a ring on God. I'm ready to double the wage. I'd rather do that. I rather I'd rather do that than let a Canadian nigga make Pac turn in his grave. Referring to the track Taylor made with the, of course, the AI version or he used a filter to make his voice sound like Pac and Snoop Dogg, which was super corny. And he got a cease and desist from the Tupac estate to take that shit down because that shit was not only corny, but extremely disrespectful. And uh, yeah, that's that's how it goes. All right, let's continue. Cutthroat business. You got shit twisted. What is it? The braids? I hurt your feelings. You don't want to work with me no more. OK, it's three goats left, and I seen two of them kissing and hugging on stage. Ooh, talking about Cole and, and Drake. I love them to death, and in eight bars, I'll explain that phrase, huh? It's nothing nobody can tell me, huh? I don't want to talk in no celly, huh? You wanna, you know I got language barriers, huh? It's no accent you can sell me, huh? Yeah, Cole and Ombre know I'm a selfish nigga. The crown is heavy, huh? I pray, I pray they my real friends. If not, I'm Y N Y N M yellow. Excuse me, Y N N Y N W Melly. <laughs> yeah, is is I'm super tired, fam. I'm trying to go through this. <laughs> All right, so of course you guys know Y N M Melly um, was charged with murder for killing one of his friends. So he's been locked up. I think he's doing life. I'm not mistaken. I'm not 100 percent sure, but he's. I think he's doing life. All right, so let's continue. I don't like you popping shit at Pharrell for him. I inherit the beef. Yeah, fuck all that pushing P. Let let me see you push a T. Referring to push a T. Super dope. You better all spin it. You you better all spin it again on him. You think about pushing me. He's Terrence Thornton. I'm Terrence Crawford. Yeah, I'm whooping feet. Wow. Super dope. Super dope. Of course, Pusha T's real name is Terrence Thornton. 
Terrence Crawford is a professional boxer who is now at 154 pounds, and he has been notably uh, famous for destroying Errol Spence in their fight in July of last year. Yeah, I'm whooping feet. Now, that is a term that people from Compton use, um, you know, beating a nigga out of his shoes, whooping feet, right? That That is something that people in, in, in the West Coast and Compton and L.A., they use that term. So that term will go with a lot of people's heads because that's, that's that's really put like a local term that people use in, in, uh, in Compton. We ain't got to get personal. This is a friendly fade. You should keep it that way. I know some shit about niggas that make Gunna want to look like a saint. This ain't been about critics, not about gimmicks, not about who the greatest. It's always been love and hate. Now, let me say I'm the biggest hater. I hate the way you walk, the way you talk. I hate the way you dress. I hate the way you sneak this. If I catch flight, it's going to be direct. Catching a flight direct. Now, this whole spill about I hate the way you walk and talk and, 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 and the way you dress, that is a reference towards DMX when he was alive, uh, God rest the dead. He gave his take about how he felt about Drake. And this is this is his response. My bad, I ain't got no sound on here. Hold on. Uh, now why don't you like Drake? I don't like anything about Drake. Mom, I don't like this voice. I don't like nothing. Like, 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 talks about I don't like nothing. 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 I might just let me shut up. So yeah, that's where he got that reference from. Super dope. <laughs> Clever. All right, let's continue. We hate the bitches you fuck because they confuse themselves with real women. And notice I said we is just is not just me. I'm what the culture feeling. How many more fairy tale stories about your life till we had enough? How many more black features till you finally feel that you're black enough? I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he act tough. You gonna make a nigga bring back Puff. Let me see if Chubbs really crashed something. Now, this Puff reference is referring to when uh, Puff and Drake were in the club in, in, in Miami. This was 10 years ago, actually, in 2014. Here's the article where Drake allegedly punches, excuse me, Diddy or Puffy allegedly punches Drake outside of the club live in Miami. This was a DJ Khaled's birthday. And several people can confirm this story. They saw it. So it's not made up. Um, so that reference was dope as well. All right, so let's continue. Yeah, my yeah, my first one, like my last one, it's a classic. You don't have one. Let your core audience stomach that. Then tell them where you get your abs from. Super dope. <laughs> Another reference to Drake allegedly getting a BBL or getting some kind of enhanced surgery for his abdomens. That's what uh, Rick Ross said as well, calling him BBL Drizzy. I think that's funny. Uh, B12, it's a fast one. Bow, bow, bow. Last one. Headshot for the year. You better walk off like Daft Punk wearing helmets. Super dope. All right, let's go to verse two. Remember, ah, top dog, who the fuck they think they playing with? Extortion my middle name as soon as you jump off the plane, bitch. I'm allergic to the lame shit. Only you like be being famous. Yachty can't give you no swag either. I don't give a fuck about who you hang with. Of course, he's referring to Lil Yachty, who uh, Yachty works with Drake quite extensively on major projects, you know, and there's no secret that Yachty has been ghostwriting for Drake for quite some time. All right. I hate the way you walk, the way you talk. I hate the way you dress. He referenced that again. Surprised you wanted that feature request. You know what? You know that we got some shit to address. I even hate that you say the word nigga, but that's just me, I guess. Some shit just cringeworthy. Quinsworthy. If it ain't even got to be deep, I guess. Still love when you see a success. Everything with me is blessed. Keep making me dance, waving my hand. It wouldn't be no threat. I'm no one they call you the boy, but where is my man? Because I ain't seen him yet. Where is a man? I ain't seen him yet. Super dope. Matter of fact, I ain't even bleed him yet. Can I bleed him? Bet. When I see you stand by Sexy Red, I believe you see two bad bitches 
Damn, that, that is a super dope, funny-ass bar, too. When I first heard this, I was cracking up. I had to pause the damn track. I was laughing so hard. Um, I believe you don't like women. It's a real competition. You might pop ass with them. Ha! You know, it's funny because, like, I'm going to just say this, man. Like, Kendrick, Jay-Z, J. Cole. That's his name. This is the top, top rappers, right? What do they have in common? They all married. They all are married. Right? Um, Drake has not. Drake has not been attached to... Now, now I, I'm not saying he's gay, but that bar hits because you don't never see him really attached to a woman like that, other than the fact that he has a baby mom through his son, Adonis. But other than that, you don't really see him attached to a woman like that. Even even Kanye's been married and he's married again. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you don't really see him attached to a woman like that. So you got to kind of question, does he like women? You know, you just got to be, okay, you got to be just kind of worry about that. Does he really like women? So that, that bar does hit. I ain't going to hold you. That bar does hit. All right, so let's continue. I believe you don't like women. It's real competition. You might pop ass with them. Let's speak on percentage. Show me your splits. I'll make sure I double back with you. You were signed to a nigga that signed to a nigga that said he was signed to that nigga. Of course, replying to what uh, Drake said on push-ups about splits and the fact that, you know, Drake, uh, Drake was referring to Kendrick's deal where his basically all of his his discography, if you will, uh, he has to give fifty percent of his royalties to TDE. Well, cool. that's 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 the rumor. All right, let's continue. Try sis and decease on the like that record. Oh, what you ain't like that record? Now that was new. I ain't know that allegedly that Drake tried to do a cease and desist with like that, and ain't the first time he's done a cease and desist. Of course. Uh, shout out to Rick Ross, who mentioned that also Drake did a cease and desist, which was confirmed to French Montana. All right. Ho, what? You ain't like that record? Back to back. I like that record. I'm going to get back to that for the record. Why would I call around trying to get dirt on niggas? Y'all think my all my life is rap? That's whole shit. I got a son to raise, but I see you don't know nothing about that. Waking him up, know nothing about that. You tell him to pray, know nothing about that. And give him tools to walk through life like day to day, know nothing about that. Teaching him morals, integrity, discipline. Listen, man, you don't know nothing about that. Speaking the truth and consider what God's considering. You don't know nothing about that. Ain't 20 v 1, it's 1 v 20. If I got to smack niggas with, with that right with you. If I got to smack niggas that right with you, that's crazy. Yeah, bring him too. I'll clear him out too. Tell Beam that he better stay right with you. Am I battling ghost or AI? Niggas feeling like Joel Osteen. Uh, yeah, I think they messed this. They definitely messed his name up. It's not. That's definitely not. Because when I first heard jo the name, I thought he was talking about that damn white preacher. That mega church preacher. But he's not talking about that. Um, he was talking about the the creator of a uh, of a platform for AI, right? Uh, but let's continue. Funny, he was in a film called AI, right? Yeah, he was talking about the actor, which which is referring to a movie that they were talking about AI uh, in the, in the platform. So that's what he is referring to. All right, and um, and my sixth sense telling me to off him. I'm a black niggas, all the, I'm a I'm a black blink niggas, all them they cough and they mess that up. Yeah, over your whole niggas is dick riders. Tell them to run America. They in, they imitate heritage. They can't imitate this violence. Now, this is getting to some East, basically, I guess, Canada versus the West Coast type shit with these bars that's coming down here. Pause. What I learned is niggas don't like the West Coast. And I'm fine with it. I'll push that line with it. Pick a nigga off one at a time with it. We can do a three-hour time difference. Don't speak on the family, Crody. 
It can't get deep in the family, Crody. Talk about me and my family, Crody? Someone gonna bleed in your family, Crody. I be at New Ho King eating fried rice with dip sauce and blammy, Crody. Tell me you're cheesing, fam. We can do this right now on camera, Crody. So this reference to uh, New Ho King eating fried rice with dip sauce and, and um, blammy, Crody, is actually a restaurant in Toronto called New Ho King. So that's some, hey, that is near and dear because first of all, he's talking about a restaurant in Toronto that he's basically saying, I'm in your city eating food in your city. What you going to do? I know about the the spots, the spots to go to in Canada. So that's what that basically means. And he, 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 he said it in a bar. All right. So let's see here. Let's continue. Ah, uh, fuck y'all niggas. I don't trust y'all niggas. I weigh one finger and thump y'all niggas like, hmm. Phil go punt y'all niggas. They punk y'all niggas. Nobody never took my food. Ooh. Whoever that's fucking with him, fuck you niggas and fuck the industry too. If you take it there, I'm taking it further. Psh, that's something you don't want to do. And the outro, he says, we don't want to hear you say nigga no more. We don't want to hear you say nigga no more. Stop. So, man, that, hey, I, I, I'm going to say this, man. I definitely think that uh, Kendrick won at least round one or the first half of the battle. I think he took it. Um, like I said, he responded in less time than Drake did originally. He did it in two weeks as opposed to four weeks. With Drake in response to uh, like that. Um, and he did a six minute track, three different flows, three different beats. Um, the way he broke them down as far as these bars here was, I think it was just, and he could go even farther too, right? If he wanted to, he even warned him. He can go even, be even deeper pause. So he has the clip loaded for whatever reply that Drake wants to come out with, he's ready to go against Drake again um, once Drake replies. But this was super dope. I think I definitely got Kendrick winning round one. Um, so let's see what Drake does. The, it's in your court, Drake, and the Aubrey fans. You know, let, let's see what happens, man. This is something that I know for a fact that the people that like to break down bars, they're more Kendrick fans than, than Aubrey fans. Aubrey fans, they just want to feel good. You know what I'm saying? They want to feel good. They want to have just light bars. They don't care about integrity. You know what I'm saying? They they don't care about the essence of hip hop. They're just, you know, they're just, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's different types of, there's different type of fans, different type of audiences, right? Um, You know, a different demographic, if you will. Right, but Kendrick Lamar fans are, are 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 we're critical thinkers, man. You know, we we like to decipher lyrics and break down bars, and if we can't figure something out, we want to just try to get the answer because we want to get the answer. You know what I'm saying? That's how I am, and that's how KDOT fans are. You know what I'm saying for the most part. So this this was super dope. Uh, I mean, there are some bars that I probably still need to kind of decipher right uh so but like i said i try to break this down the best as i could and then um if i come across some information or if i find something or if i be like oh get a hot aha moment you know i'll do an update on this channel and let y'all know what i find um from these bars but hey man like i said i think kda got this round one let me know what y'all think about Euphoria by Kendrick Lamar, who took who took a first round. Was it Drake with push ups and Taylor Made, or was it Kendrick with Euphoria? All right, family. So those are my thoughts on that. Leave your comments down below, family. Till next time. Signing out. Peace.